Hi, thanks for clicking. This is my fourth video. Uh, today we're going to talk about who I told in my journey to foster to adopt. Um, so in my first video, I think I said that I told my boss and that was the first person I told. And because I figured if I knew that my job would help me with the situation, then I knew I could move forward. If they would have said no, then I would have had to either rethink the whole process, which one's more important, my job, or moving forward to becoming a father. It would have been a tough call, uh, especially because I love what I do, and but that wouldn't have stopped me, I don't think, I don't know. So the first person I told was my boss. Uh, the second person I told was my sister. I knew my sister was going to be 100% supportive of my decision, and she was. Uh, she gave me a lot of confidence. She told me how great of a dad she thought I would be. And I figured that would be a great person to start with. And it, I was right. Yes. Way to go, sweet. Next, I told my parents. I did a little special announcement with uh, my family when they were all together. And it was a little bit of a surprise for them. So I caught them a little bit off guard, which was always fun. Because who doesn't love surprising their parents? After we talk, After I told my immediate family... Next was going to bring my, bring my friends into the situation and that was a lot more nerve wracking because I didn't know how they were going to respond. Uh, most of them were great. Most of them were like, hey, that's awesome. Uh, I think you'll be a good dad and tell me the things that I want to hear. A lot of them were like, oh, okay. And it wasn't a big deal. Like, I thought it was going to be huge and they was just like, meh. And which is fine, you know. I did have one friend who told me, hey, if I really need something like that in my life, why don't I just adopt a dog? <laughs> so that one kind of took me back for a, a little bit, but I knew it was just more of he thought he would lose me as a friend if I had a child in my life. And let's face it, when children are part of your life, you do have less time for your friends, unfortunately. Um, after that response, you may ask, well, are you still friends with that guy? And the answer is yes. Uh, funny thing is, is when I got my son, he actually had his first son with his wife. And so now while I'm dealing with a seven, eight year old child, he's dealing with a baby. <laughs> so, uh, I think I got the better end of that deal. Nothing against babies. Just, I don't want to do diapers and he has to do diapers and, uh, he doesn't get a whole night's sleep and I do. So, haha. <laughs> Uh, he did come visit a few times oh, since I've had my son, and they get along really well. There's times where my son will say that my friend is cooler than me. So not true. So overall, that was the most negative comment was the, the dog thing. I didn't have any situations where people told me not to do it uh, because there are those stories that people will say, hey, don't do this, you don't want to get involved. Uh, and that is completely false. Do not listen to those people. They have a bad notion in their head that's stuck in there for some reason. Not true. These kids are amazing kids and they deserve love and they deserve a family. So, you know, don't let that stop you. Other people I told were my neighbors because I thought it would be a little bit strange if they saw me in the backyard one day and then the next day I have a child uh, since I've lived here for like 12 years. That would have been a, a weird thing. Be like, wait, when did that happen? So uh, I told them, and they've been great. Uh, I've actually become a lot closer friends with all of them, and it's been a, a good thing. It's an exciting time to tell people, you know, your your steps that you want to do. Uh, so it's an exci exciting time. It's something that you want to share with a lot of people, and I would recommend sticking with your family and your then your friends and then the people that you see in your life a lot. Uh, especially early in the process. Early in the process, you never know how long it's going to take before that first placement. So, you know, you want to be patient. And if you get more people involved, they may start asking and building up that anxiety. So, you know, kind of keep it calm and keep it slow, keep it within. And as you get closer or you get more comfortable with someone, then feel free to share, hey, this is what I'm planning on doing because um, it is a great thing. And people are always like, wow, that, that's amazing. So you do give that little bit of a nice little pat on the back, which is always nice. So if you get a chance, check out our other page where me and my son do. It's uh, called Silly Pots. 
We do short comedy sketches. Some of them are pretty funny. Uh, check it out. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. So for this channel, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that little bell for notifications. Uh, next episode is going to talk about uh, support groups because that's going to be very important to have a good support group, uh, especially as a single parent. And uh, thank you. Have a great one.